Hey Repsers, welcome. So TCS NQT is around the corner and we are getting a lot of queries regarding the topic level analytics on the aptitude section for the exam. So the aptitude section, so talking about aptitude, you must know that TCS doesn't have a logical section and the logical, you know, the, some of the questions from the reasoning part are also combined with the aptitude part in TCS NQT. So before we start, so there are 15 questions asked in the TCS NQT aptitude section, which has the logical combined with it and you get 30 minutes to solve. And out of those 15 questions, there are 10 normal questions, which are of MCQ type. And then there are five questions, which are FUB type questions. So the FUB type questions are the one wherein you have to, you know, fill. So let's say you are finding out speed of a train and then you find the answer as 70.024. Six. So in that case, you have to fill there as 70.027, right? So you have to round it off to the nearest decimal position and then you have to fill it till the uh, two decimal positions, right? So that is how you fill FUB type questions. And then talking about the negative marking in the aptitude section. So the negative, the, the negative, so the negative marking pattern for TCS, it has changed this year and it changed last year as well. So I would suggest you to, you know, go through the instructions in the exam before you start attempting the exam to, you know, have a better idea on the, on it. But as per the last examination, which happened, they had 0 0.33 negative marking for the MCQ type questions and no negative marking in the FUB type. But then in some cases, they might have 2x negative marking for the MCQ type questions and 3x for the FUB type questions. So this keep on changing and you, I just suggest you to, you know, read the instructions carefully before you start the exam. Now, talking about the topic level analytics for the aptitude section. So the first block has four topics, which are number systems and HCF and LCM, percentages, ratio proportion and averages and divisibility. So from this four topics, you can expect around three to four questions in the exam. And then for HCF and LCM, uh, there are very standard questions which we have covered in our online classes and I would suggest you to go through them very carefully because there would be some questions on HCF and LCM which you would be wondering that does it comes under HCF or LCM but yes. So for that you need a lot of practice and then talking about percentages. So we have already shared a sheet wherein I have asked you to remember at least 30 to 40 fractional values and you can find the percentages. For example, what is 1 by 8? What is 1 by 6? So you should know the percentage value for that. Now, talking about uh, another topic, which is allegation and mixture. So there will definitely be one question from allegation and mixture in the TCS exam, right? And I hope you have gone through the online classes and you know the best ways to solve allegation and mixture questions because sometimes you will be confused with allegation and mixtures and ratio and proportion, right? But if you know the tricks, you can, you know, solve the question in real quick time. Now, coming to the next section, there would be profit and loss problems on ages, time, speed and distance and work and time. So this I consider to be the most important section because this is little easy and you know, you can score very good in this section. And from this four topics, you can expect around five to six questions in the exam. Now profit and loss. So it's mostly about finding out the profit percentage or the loss percentage. Talking about ages is very simple and I'm not even discussing it here. Coming to time, speed and distance. So in time, speed and distance, initially TCS used to have very long and calculative questions, but now it's more about analytical and logical questions and speed, time and distance. And mostly you'll find questions on trains, trains crossing each other or trains crossing a platform and things like that. Now, coming to work and time. So in work and time, you will definitely find one to two questions wherein one question might be from pipes and systems as well, wherein the concept of negative work comes into the picture. Right. And then talking about boats and streams. So rarely TCS asks any question from boats and streams, but in the last year, we've seen that in a couple of slots, they have asked one question from boats and streams and you have to find the upstream velocity or the downstream velocity or the average speed in the you know entire journey, things like that. Now coming to the next section, which contains probability, permutation, combination and clocks and calendars. So probability and permutation combination will definitely have two to three questions for sure and this is a tough section because if you don't have practice you will you know end up uh, wasting three to four minutes for this question i would suggest you to go through our dashboards and online classes to know the best tricks on solving pnc and probability questions and there are a lot of websites and a lot of channels you know they talk about a lot of topics in pnc but there are very specific seven to eight type of questions which are asked in pnc and you don't have to go through any other questions Apart from that, so I would suggest you to go through the, you know, 
uh, dashboards and the online classes for that. Then coming to clocks and calendars, so you may or may not have one question from clocks and calendar, but if you have one, it is going to be a little tough where you need to find the angle between the hands of the clock or you need to find the, the day on a particular date of a year or things like that. Now, coming to the next section, which is geometry, areas and perimeter and cubes and cuboid. So area shapes and perimeter and cubes and cuboid. So you might have one or two questions from that. But from geometry, you will definitely have two to three questions and the geometry for TCS is a little different and I will definitely share the you know geometry PDF wherein we have included some 2025 standard formulas which will help you to crack the exam very clear easily and I'll share the link in the description box below, right? Then coming to series and progression. So series and progression is one of the favorite topics for TCS and QT and they keep on asking questions from it and you will find at least two questions from series and progressions. Then coming to algebra and equations, so you might find one question related to algebra or equations and sometimes they ask you a question from functions or the binomial theorem, but it's, you know, very rarely asked in the exam. Now, talking about reasoning, so in reasoning, the most important topic I would say is Sudoku, right? Because in no other exam I see Sudoku being asked, but in TCS, you will definitely see one question from Sudoku. And then in reasoning, it's all miscellaneous type of questions, but there would be one question from blood relations or one from syllogisms and you know a couple more miscellaneous type of questions so which we have already uploaded on our smart dashboard so i would suggest you to go through that yes and now talking about the toughness so the questions are easy just that the you know language is little longer in the exam and sometimes the calculations are tough because initially tcs used to have an on-screen calculator in the exam but now they don't have but the questions are still the same and the calculations are still the same. So I would suggest you to be very fast in the calculations and, you know, practice a lot of questions before the exam so that you are confident enough in the exam. So guys, that's all I think from, you know, the aptitude section for TCS and QT and for any other query or any other doubt, you can definitely comment down in the comment box and me or my team will definitely help you out with that. Thank you so much for watching the video.